Look, things change. Anyone with a yeah, hammer has a computer. Really now, I mean, my concern is that we have a popular Democratic president whose administration is continuing policies that I think a lot of liberals would have been opposed to if a, a Republican president was doing them. And yet you've had some liberal organizations put out talking points on how to defend the White House's crackdown on journalism. I mean, to me, that's, that's astonishing, you know? And um, so I'm, I'm very, very concerned about it. I mean, I have, I have sources that I used to be able to communicate with on um, encrypted chats or using OTR software, won't do it anymore uh, because they feel it's compromised. Th there's an assumption now in the national security reporting community that many journalists' emails are being intercepted uh, or that calls are being monitored to try to determine who is leaking or who is speaking to journalists without permission from their employers. Do you think that there's anything journalists can do to protect themselves? I was asked this by the New York Times recently and uh, short of becoming a Luddite, you know, where you're just not using technology anymore, it's very, it's very difficult. I mean, on the one hand, I think that uh, there's a public front that we can create uh, or you know, against these attacks, um, which is why I say that even though I don't like them uh, or don't, don't have tremendous respect for Fox News, I will defend Fox News against these attacks, uh, just as I defend the Associated Press. I think it's really important that we set aside our politics as journalists and, and, and have a unified front.